it's a social club. We have lots of very nice social things. But as the, of course, the Me Too movement moving, we think we must start with the movement on what can we do. And we want to help the Angels of Mercy, who are helping women every day, bringing back their dignity, taking them out of the drug world, taking them away from those that are human trafficking them. And we feel we want to support them as women to make our community, our city, our county a better place. Why should people be paying attention to this? Because it, it is actually now hitting young people in suburbs, in many different places, especially with this opiate epidemic. You don't know if the, they want the opiates, someone takes advantage. And as uh, Mary Jo said, you can buy drugs once, but you can sell a human being 20 to 30 times a day. And that's what they do, and so it, it, it's just become heinous, and it, it's reached out all over the place. But that shouldn't make a difference. It should have been grabbed at like these ladies did when it was just in a little area, because we have to save everything. And that's why we're here supporting these ladies on what they're doing. They're great ladies. We are all volunteers. They are volunteers for a better community. What, what kind of support do you offer um, for women who have been uh, abused or, or victims? What kind of support um, do you have available for them, resources? Um, and Mary Jo has numerous resources, and uh, our community has many, many agencies and to help women. And we're there to be part of it. And this healing house, it's going to be a wonderful thing because when you take someone out of human trafficking and you can get them out, they're going to be lured, they're going to be lured. So they need to be someplace where they can come back, rebuild their dignity, and be able to save themselves while the angels are saving them. And most of you know a lot about Angels of Mercy, and if you don't, we start started almost 11 years ago to help women with life control and issues move forward. And we're talking about all kinds of abuses, drug, alcohol, sexual abuse, human trafficking, and things like that. Tonight we're truly focusing on one of the biggest problems that's going on right now, and that's the human trafficking. Human trafficking is spinning out of control, and it is in our own backyard. It could be your daughter, your niece, your granddaughter, your cousin, your neighbor, whatever. It's no respecter of persons. And wherever there are kids, there are traffickers. And 49% of traffickers are women. So don't think it's just the guys. Okay? So we're talking about something that's really heart-wrenching. Our vision from day one has been to have a home for healing for those victims so that they can become survivors from victim to victory, and to stay for at least a year. And that's what tonight's all about. We're hoping to move forward into this reality of a home, and know that with God's help and His grace and mercy, we can do just that. And with the support of all of our wonderful people that are behind us, that have supported us for almost 11 years now, and uh, we are um, so thankful to the community. The community um, and so many social workers and doctor's offices and so many different um, people send their women to our office each and every day for butterfly and tea. Because you know, sometimes when your self-esteem is really down, you need to have it brought up. And uh, we see transformation be begin before our very eyes. Uh, it's like a metamorphosis, you know, it truly is. And um, they leave with a spring in their step, joy in their heart. I think we have some women that have come into our office that are here tonight that have been recipients of this. And I thank you to all of the social workers, anybody that, you know, will call and refer their people in. So, you know, um, it's all about, we are about helping women, not that we don't want to help men and boys and things like that. But um, having, you know, a lot of us have had 
issues in our own families that have brought us to this place, people that come alongside of us. I'm a survivor of domestic violence in my first marriage, but I've been married now to my husband, Joe, and he's never around me for 36 years. Uh, he's out there. Our PS doesn't have to determine our future. So uh, each and every day, our 34, 34 children are captured into human trafficking. I think it's like every hour. Um, human trafficking has grown into a hundred and fifty billion dollar a year industry, with a third of that taking place right in the U.S. And New York State is one of the top areas and destinations of ports and things that it comes in and out of. So it's, it's real, it's something that needs to be addressed. We're out there doing awareness events and education, and I thank our team. We have wonderful teams of women that are doing this. But I just want you to know from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of Angels of Mercy's heart, we love you, we thank you, and I want to, uh, Rachel, raise your hand. Rachel back here, she's raising her hand. The first time that I ever said the words sex trafficking or human trafficking was when my friend Anna Saturno told me about dresses that were being made for little girls to help prevent human trafficking. And our goal was 100 dresses, we've sent out 490,000 dresses. and give hope to those who um, are at risk.